question four asks us to basically look at figure two and determine the relationship between uh, modulus of En1 minus En2 and the bond energy at 298K among the six compounds represented. And we can see that as the modulus value of En1 minus En2 increases, that is as we move right on the x-axis, the value of the bond energy at 298K increases, that it goes up on the y-axis. So that means that among the six compounds represented in figure 2, as modulus of En1 minus En2 increases, the bond energy at 298K increases only, B.